Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Today we're going to take this unprocessed RAW file shot at a high ISO of 25,600 and send it to three different noise reduction applications to see which one is better. DxO Pure Raw, On One No Noise AI, and Topaz Labs, Denoise AI. Okay, this is the image we're going to be using. It was shot with an Icon Z7 II, and as I mentioned at the top, it was shot with an ISO of 25,600. And you could see that there's a considerable amount of both luminance and chrominance noise there. Um, so it's not processed at all, nothing was done to it, and we're going to be using all three applications as standalone apps because each of them state that they work best on RAW files when they're used as a standalone app, meaning they lose something apparently when you use them as a plugin, because especially if you're using them as a Lightroom plugin, you're not sending a raw file to them. You're sending either a TIFF or a PSD, depending on the app. So we're going to try to use them at their best, that is as a standalone app on the same image, and see which one works best. Now we're going to uh, start out with DxO Pure Raw. I'm going in a specific order. I'm going in an order uh, from the least amount of bells and whistles to the most amount of bells and whistles. Meaning, with DxO Pure Raw, you have little control over the actual noise reduction it does. This is it open. I'm going to open that file in it right here. And we'll just open it up in it, and you'll see it's over here. And all you need to do is click on Process Photos up here in the top left-hand corner. And um, we want to use Deep Prime Processing. They have three different choices, HQ Prime and Deep Prime. Deep Prime is only available to RAW files, and it is the best of the three different methods. Uh, we want to output, output it as a DNG, and I'm going to save it to the desktop, and I'm just going to click Process. And it's doing it now and in the description below this video I'll have a list of my computer specs because a lot of times uh, many people see how fast or how slow my computer might process something and they'll ask me what you know are the specs on my computer so in case you're curious I'll have that listed in the description below this video now you can see it's taken a little while now it says it's done now what do you want to do view the results or export to let's view the results so we'll do it here and it's still processing right here, the preview. Let it do its thing, there it is. Now there is some um, lens corrections in there, so you may see that it kind of, kind of looks like it bowed out in the middle a little bit, but that's because of those lens corrections. Anyway, let's go to the far right, and um, there's a lot of noise obviously in this out of focus area on the far right, and there's a lot of noise in his eyes. This is our cat Rocky, by the way. And if I go this way, you'll see the processed image and you can see it got rid of the noise pretty well and got rid of the noise in his eyes and it looks pretty good. So I think this is nicely done. We'll just close this up and to browse, to browse your optimized pictures more comfortably, you can hide unprocessed pictures that's up here. That's fine. We'll just click OK and we're going to close this down. We're done with DxO Pure Raw. So here's the original raw file. And there's a little sidecar file that I exported. I had this in Lightroom, and I just exported the original RAW file from Lightroom, and it gave me that little sidecar. And there's the DNG from Pure RAW. We're going to rename that. Actually, I should have renamed it. So we're going to call that uh, DxO Pure RAW. Okay, so just like that. All right, so that's the DxO Pure RAW uh, image. Now, next we're going to go to On One's No Noise AI. Of the three apps, this is the newest app. It just was released a month or two ago. We're gonna open up that same Nikon RAW file right there. And this app, you have a little bit more control or you know, over DxO Pure RAW. And it takes a while because it does, um, I have it set to auto on. So it's automatically 
doing or it automatically adjusted luminance and color noise and enhanced the detail slider. I'm going to zoom out a bit here. And if I pull this slider all the way to the right, there is the um, unprocessed image. And if I go this way, there's the processed image. And you can see that um, it removed the noise. It looks good in his eyes, looks good over here. So those are the default settings because I have auto on. So when I'm satisfied with that, I could just click apply. And there it's applied. And then, you know, I'm done. So I'm going to click done. So I just took the default settings it gave me. Again, I'm going to save it to the desktop, but this one I'll remember here to rename this. I'm going to call this on one. No noise. All right. And we'll save that to the desktop. Another DNG. Save. And that's saving. Give it a second. Now, that's the advantage of these apps, too. When you use them as a standalone app and you're sending a raw file into them, you could save the resultant file as a raw file, a DNG file. So that's nice uh, too. So you always keep that raw format. Now this one came with a sidecar file. So there's the on one no noise DNG and there's the sidecar file that goes with it. And finally, let's go to Topaz Denoise AI. I saved this one for last because again, we're going into order uh, over which, how much control you have. This one has the most options, and it may be the most difficult to use for people that are new to doing this. Uh, so let's browse. Again, we'll open up that Nikon RAW file and open it up. Now, this application has four different AI models. And let's, um, let's move this over here. So we get part of his eye, and we get this area over here that had a lot of noise. Uh, right now, I'm in what's called comparison view, and it gives us four panels. It gives us the original unprocessed raw uh, image in the top left-hand corner. Next to that, to the right, is the standard AI, AI model. Below that, to the far left, is the clear AI model. And then to the far right, at the bottom, is the low-light AI model. Now, those are three of the four different AI models. Um, standard as we look at it, you can see I have it set to auto and uh, there is amount of color noise reduction that is added, but there still is a lot of noise here. If we look at the clear, the clear looks much better. Uh, most of the noise is removed if, and that's on auto as well. If we look at the low light, that's on auto as well, but you can see it, it still has a, a little bit of noise and it kind of is blotchy looking. Now there is that fourth AI model, severe noise. And all you need to do is click on this button here and it will replace whatever the active um, the model is at the bottom. Right now, low light is active. You can see it has the blue box here. It will replace that with severe noise. So we'll click on severe noise. And that one obviously looks the best. There's no kind of like, like patchy look over here. That one just looks best. Now again, with all, well, with, um, with uh, On One No Noise AI and with um, Topaz Labs Denoise AI, I'm using auto mode. So I'm, I could, if I wanted to tweak it, come in and move sliders and try to get maybe a little more detail out of it. But I'm trying to compare them uh, in a more equal way, I guess. It's arguably I'm comparing them in a more equal way I admit but I'm just doing auto mode just so you could get an idea of how they work automatically and that's the way pure raw works you know uh, you just send an image into it and it reduces noise and there's not a lot of control over what it does so anyway let's go with this severe noise one it's the active panel in this comparison view and we'll just click on save image I'm going to save it as a DNG and I am going to save it as, I'm going to give it the name Denoise AI like that. And we're going to save it to the desktop and we'll click save. Now what I'll do is once this saves, um, I'll open all four images up. That's the original um, unprocessed raw file. And then the, with the other three, uh, by default, my computer is going to open them into uh, Adobe Camera Raw in Photoshop but that will allow us to compare them to one another. So we're back here. We're just going to close this down. 
All right, now here's the uh, fourth one, the Denoise AI. It used the severe noise model it even told you there. So we're gonna highlight all these and we're just gonna double click on it and my computer, as I mentioned, will op the, open them up into Adobe Camera Raw. Now, uh, this far left image is up here, the original raw file. You can see at the very top. So there's the original raw file. Let's maybe zoom in. All right, you can see there's a lot of color noise, a lot of luminance noise. Now this next image is the Denoise AI model. This is the last one I did. And that one got rid of the noise pretty well. The one right next to it is the Pure Raw. That one got rid of the noise, but there seems to be like a weird patch of noise right here. Can you see that? A little patch of noise right there. And next to that is the No Noise AI that's from On1. And this has this kind of weird modeling right here. So kind of see that? Kind of weird pixelations in there. Um, so again, um, I don't know if I could reorder these. I don't think I could reorder these in Adobe Camera Raw. I can't. So let's try it again. Let's look at his eyes, something a little more like important. All right, so there is uh, Rocky's eye in the unprocessed raw file. Then we'll go over to Denoise AI, and you could see that it got rid of the noise, a little bit of noise in here in Denoise AI. Now again, I used all the apps in auto mode, so I could have tweaked things and probably got rid of that noise. Next to that is DxO Pure Raw. Um, compare the two. DxO Pure Raw looks a little better, maybe, to me. Let me know what you think in the comments. But a little bit, maybe, maybe a little. It's hard to say. It's like six of one, half a dozen the other. They look pretty much the same, actually. And then finally, uh, No Noise AI. And that definitely got rid of the noise, but it does seem to have this weird kind of almost painterly look to it. Um, I don't know, maybe I'm misinterpreting it, but let me know in the comments below what you think, which one may be bought better. Let's zoom out one more time. Let's zoom in again to this more severe noise area. Oops, I want to do that. All right, something like here. All right, again, here is the unprocessed raw file. Here is the Denoise AI. Here is the DxO Pure Raw. And here is the no noise uh, AI uh, difference. So um, overall, I think um, in my opinion, disagree with me in the comments below, uh, feel free. Um, but I think the denoise AI one is slightly better than the pure raw one. And they're both considerably better than the no noise one. Now I should say that when you remove noise, it's kind of image specific. And on this specific image, that's the way I would rate them. But it could be possible that the order would be different if I used a different image with different elements in the image. The reason why I'm um, putting no noise third is because of this kind of weird uh, kind of modeling, you know, for lack of a better term, in there, kind of a weird pixelation here it kind of makes it look painterly like a painter's canvas almost whereas with the other ones it may not like pure raw didn't remove all the noise but it doesn't have that look to it and denoise ai um, didn't remove all the noise but it doesn't have that look to it um, either so there's you know my take on the three different apps that i generally do videos on that remove noise. Um, again, we probably all have our favorites, which one we prefer. Uh, let me know what you like, which one you prefer in the comments below. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>